Welcome, this is the Algebra 1 EOC practice test number 3, question number 12. The question says, uh, list a number of phone calls made by 10 employees. The number of phone, when the number of phone calls of the 11th employee was recorded, the mode of the phone calls did not change, which could not be the number of calls that they made. So we're looking for situations where the mode does not change. Those are our ones that we are possible answers here. Now we want to know which could not be the number. So we want to know which one actually makes it change. So it's like this double negative thing going on. I hate when they do this, but that's what they do. Anyway, let's uh, make a little, I'm going to make a little frequency chart here. So this is my label. And on this side would be how many times it occurred. So I'm actually going to put a symbol to remind myself that these are the labeled numbers. One happens twice. Two happens four times, three happens three times, and four happens once. So my mode currently is number two. So anything that would change that mode and make it not the mode anymore, that's the kind of stuff that we're looking for. If I, I added zero to the equation, um, Oh, so there'd be one of these. I don't know why I wrote zero twice. One. But the mode doesn't change. It's still not at four, so that's out. Uh, if I add a two to the equation, um, I add another two here, so this number goes up to five. It's still the mode, so it doesn't change anything. The th uh, C says if I added a three. Well, if I added a three, this number would go up to four, and then my mode would change from this one alone to now this one and this one. So the answer to the question is C. For D, by the way, it would just give me another one down here the mode wouldn't change. So the one that would change the total mode would be the number three. So there it is.